Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ultra. This is Feed the Mind TV. So today, let's talk about formal and informal language. So what are the things that we need to know? How we are going to use the formal language and the informal language. So your purpose for communication and the relationship that you have with your listeners and readers will determine if you are to use formal or informal language. So when you are in a gymnasium and a teenager offers you a seat, you acknowledge the kind of gestures by saying, thanks for the seat. However, if you are in an academic forum and an organizer offers you a seat, you say, thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you very much, sir. So it still depends the situation, what kind of language, what kind of communication or words you are going to use. Is that formal language or informal language? And when you talk on a certain topic, you should use ordinary conversational language. However, if you are going to give a lecture in a conference, which is a very formal environment, your language should be formal as well. In the same manner that when you write your speech and your purpose is to inform your audience, you have to make sure enough formal yung gagamitin mo. Same thing when you try to entertain your listeners, so kailangan informal yung gagamitin mong language. You cannot make jokes kung napaka-serious yung topic mo. And you cannot use a formal language kung yung purpose mo is to entertain yung audience mo. So situation, depende pa rin yun. So in terms of how you use a language, it still depends on situation. So you have to be flexible on how to use language like informal or formal language. So one cause of miscommunication or misinterpretation is the differences of how we pronounce the words. So speakers have different ways of pronouncing words because of differences in our phonology. It is then important to be exposed to the ways other speakers of English to reduce the degree of difficulty that may be experienced because lahat tayo may kanya-kanyang variety of English. And we cannot blame those nationality na iba yung accent nila because na influence ng native language nila how they talk in English. Same thing with yung mga Indian. How they pronounce the words, ah, kaya pala ganun yung accent nila. Yung mga Russian, yung mga Chinese, yung mga Filipino. So every one of us have our own unique variety of English. And we should not criticize them how they talk. All we have to do is understand kaya pala ganun sila magsalita. Kaya pala ganun yung how they say the words in English. That way, we will be able to communicate and to understand what they're saying. Maintindihan natin sila. And aside from pronunciation, nonverbal communication also plays an important role in effective communication. So, Bodily gestures should be properly interpreted as their meanings vary from culture to culture. So, hindi lang sa pag-pronounce tayo nagkakaroon ng problem in terms of how we talk, how we deal with other person in terms of communication. Yung nonverbal communication, malaki pa rin yung role in terms of the effective communication. So, be careful when you use gestures. Baka mamaya ma-offend mo na yung kausap mo. Kasi nga, iba pala yung interpretation, yung meaning niya, dun sa gestures na ginawa mo. So by knowing yung mga meaning ng gestures, depende sa culture, sa nationality ng isang tao, we will be able to avoid being misinterpreted ng isang tao or ma misinterpret ng iba-ibang nationality. Because the meaning vary from culture to culture. And last One's purpose for communication as well as his or her relationship to the listeners or readers will be determined the kind of language he or she will use. So kailangan as a speaker, you should know which language will be effective sa audience mo. So by knowing your audience, magiging effective yung communication mo. You will be able to apply the right language that you need on a certain speech. 
I hope that you learned something from this video. And if this is the first time that you visit my channel, you need to press the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to get updates coming from this channel. Again, my name is Ultra. This is Feed the Mind TV.